Diamonds on my records. Since 16, I'm coming down, right? Lexus. How you gon' look like this? You was just a hot mess. You can call top rope. We ain't got so loud, Craig. Dear God, as I enter into this new month, I pray that you will open my heart to receive all that it is that you have waiting for me and that you will bring me into complete alignment with your spirit. March is the third month of the year, Father, and I know that the number three represents divine wholeness, completeness, and perfection. I thank you now that you are perfecting all things concerning me and my life, and I thank you that I am whole and like nothing. God, I pray that this month will bring forth open doors of opportunity and that I will grow wiser and stronger in my discernment. I know that apart from you, I can do nothing and I have nothing. But Father, your word tells me that you are the vine and I am the branches. And if I remain in you and you in me, I will bear much fruit. I ask that you show favor on my home and my job, school and my marriage with my children, my business. And God, we thank you that your provision is not based on our efforts, but on the inheritance given to us by the death of Jesus Christ. Father, I know that as you draw me closer to you, you are drawing closer to me, and that's all we really desire. May this month be filled with good news, open doors, letters of approval, debt cancellation, financial blessings, yes, healing, restoration, God. and deliverance. We thank you now that it is already done, and we come into agreement with this truth, and we speak for the manifestation that's about to come to pass in yes, and through our lives. Yes. If you receive this prayer, I want you to comment amen and share it with as many people as you can. Get ready, amen. because the month of March is going to blow your mind. Amen. Hi. I cannot believe you're back. What do you mean you can't you know believe? Because I thought about you just a few days ago. Are you serious? Uh -huh. Things are okay. I just feel like I'm about to start like navigating a new journey. Like are you okay? live it out. No. I are you okay? No. <laughs> this is my middle finger. Everyone always thinks that this ring is an engagement ring. No, not that big of a journey. It's hey, y'all. I am doing a little bit of budgeting. So y'all saw me after work. I did the flower arrangement. Jeremy bought me flowers yesterday. And then I took down all the Valentine decorations because this weekend we're going to go get Easter stuff. So got to be ready for that. And then I had my therapy appointment. I hadn't met with her, as y'all can hear, since July and i have some big things coming up so i think putting in a couple more sessions will be nice just you know to get extra guidance reassurance all of that so had that for like 30 minutes then what did i do i posted a new reel of my nails which y'all have seen my nails from the last vlog my birthday nails let me show y'all i posted this reel I posted that so the girlies will have a little nail inspo for spring, two to come, spring break, Easter weekend, and maybe even summer because it is March 1st. Happy new month, y'all. Wishing y'all so many blessings, okay? Yeah, and just more life. So, yeah, I'm budgeting. Then in about an hour, we have laser. I need to keep getting my touch-ups because hair is still growing up under my arms. And then tonight, oh, before tonight, after laser, we're going to run to Sephora. I did two pickup orders because I had two pickup orders that I placed last night because I'm doing a collab with Sephora on either Instagram or TikTok. So I had to get a few products for them. And then I just used the rest of my gift cards that they gave me. Y'all won't see all of that because I think I'm going to do a collective haul of like some of my birthday gifts. And then things that I bought myself for my birthday and just other things that I'm buying to get ready for the spring. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go pick up the stuff. And then tonight, we have dinner with the girls. We're going to a new speakeasy slash lounge. And yeah, I'm going to take y'all along. Of course, girls night. Y'all got to come. So yeah, I'm about to finish budgeting. Um... And then we're gonna head out to Laser, so stay tuned. Oh, you're talking about the light. <laughs> this whole, it holds the phone. Oh, it's for my camera. Nothing new. Mm -mm, nothing new. Are you seeing any results with your Cupid? Yes, results. <laughs> 
it later. We all on this front desk. The girls are lit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's not my love. About to get it on. I love it when you, everybody. bowl do most people get okay can I get the PB swizzle hello can you hear me I know I first saw you when I got back but I was sick it's just the weather changing so I had texted the group and I was like well, we might as well go here she lives um or whatever my Jeremy old department Hey y'all, it's Saturday and we are on the move, okay? We got up, even though we did not want to. We went to yoga, we went and tried the new smoothie bowls. Well, the one I got wasn't new. But y'all didn't tell me that smoothie bowl, not smoothie bowl. Y'all didn't tell me that Smoothie King has like eight smoothie bowls. I didn't even know that. I thought that they still had the original two and I hadn't even tried neither one of those. So I got the PB Swizzle, 10 out of 10 so good but anywho we were supposed to go get my admissions test then um go get some like easter stuff for the house i told y'all yesterday supposed to be doing fun errands besides the admissions test but my freaking check engine light decided to come on from yoga to smoothie king knowing that i'm trying to go get this inspection today so we're at AutoZone. so i'm about to have them run a little check to see what this light is about hopefully it's about nothing because i don't have time for this i don't even want to be doing the admissions and all that um and then hopefully we can get back to our fun errands of going shopping and to make shopping even better maya last night gave me a gift card to exactly where i was going y'all this is like um tj maxx marshall's home goods gift card i've never gotten one of these and i was like wow perfect timing if you see this maya thank you so so much and to the rest of the girls thank y'all too for coming out last night we had a blast we had went to speak easy y'all saw y'all saw the vibes we had a good time and it's just good to be around like good girlfriends like i need more of that in my life and then y'all saw capri gave me that gift basket with like all like self-care stuff in my favorite color we're gonna unbox that whenever i get home but yeah right now we gotta handle this car so let's go inside back to report that we are back to the fun errands because all i need is some antifreeze y'all and it's some in the trunk i'm gonna let jamie do it when i get home and once this light is off which it should be like instantly we gonna get the tests tomorrow if they're open if not monday so i don't know if y'all gonna see that but y'all don't care about this auto stuff so anyway let's go home good cj max <laughs> locked Jeremy out. Okay. First up from Home Goods. Hey Dylan, you can see too. Okay. 
I got this little nest with Easter eggs. And then this is my favorite purchase today. And I wish I would have gotten the other one. They had two. So it's this Easter rabbit, bunny, whatever. But he's in a yoga pose. Like he's so zen. And I just love yoga. So I was like, yes, I'm feeling the vibes. But he just looks so at peace. And they had another one. I can't remember what. Oh, the other one was like this, I think. I may go back and get it. And then I also got Ace an Easter basket. I honestly got more for Ace, I feel like, this trip than stuff for the house. Because I was looking for some this stuff in here. I was looking for some kitchen towels. And they had a lot at Home Goods, but I just wasn't drawn to like the patterns. And I kind of wanted some that would serve well for spring and Easter, so I wouldn't have to like take them down after Easter. But I may leave this stuff up till summer, y'all. I don't know. We'll see. I got the reef. Y'all saw I had originally picked up one reef because they only had like one in the front, and then I found all those other ones. So I let Jeremy choose, and this is the one that he chose, and I really like this one. You like it, Dylan? You don't really have a smell. <laughs> you try to smell it. And then that was it from Home Goods. I went to Marshalls, but they didn't have a whole lot. Honestly, they had less than Home Goods, which I was surprised about. Um, and the towels they had, they only had like three options, and they were some of the same ones that were at Home Goods. Okay, moving on to Target. I got this placemat, which y'all know, like the woven wicker look is all over this apartment. But I just got one, because I'm thinking like for the flower vase and like candles that we use, I could use this as like a stand for that and not an actual placemat. But if I don't like that, then I'll get another one and then I'll just have actual placemats. But I didn't know if like, having two of these and like making these our placemats would be too much and then i also don't have any like nice plates to put on top of them or anything so yeah we'll see where that journey goes with the placemats also for the house i got some stuff out of the dollar spot target honestly didn't have that much stuff either and i don't know if i'm like if i really like this stuff but i got a bunny candle it's white. I wish it was more like cream, because you can barely tell what it is. And then they had these egg holders that are in the shape of tulips. So I just got a pink one and an orange one. But I kind of wish I would have got two pink ones or two orange ones instead. But here are the eggs. They're like an iridescent. And I kind of wish that these were just plain white or a color that went better with the house. I don't know, y'all. I was just trying to make do with what they had. And then for Ace, I got this bunny. And then they had this book that like matches the bunny. So I had to get that. It's the bunny way. And I had already picked him up a book. I showed y'all the books I was looking at. I got the Berenstein Bears and the Easter Story for the little ones. I had picked this one up first. I used to love the Berenstein Bears when I was young. Um, but then I saw this bunny and then I was like, well, I got to get the matching book. So it's getting two books. And then I got this carrot teaser. <laughs> to go with the bunny. And then this blue fluff to go in the basket. So I need to get the cellophane, 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 I think that's what it's called to go around, you know, the basket. And then I'll probably pick up a few more things like along the way. We have time um, before we leave for Easter. We're not gonna be here for Easter. So I did wanna get a head start. And especially since like, y'all know the stores be switching their decor like that. So you gotta get it while it's there. So yeah, got a head start on that. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got. So not that much, um, not as much as I expected, but I guess that's good save money so I'm just about to lay down and then I have clothes to fold but nothing interesting for y'all to see so I don't know when I'll see y'all again next but till then 
So since the last time y'all seen me, I've been doing absolutely nothing but laying in the bed on my phone, made a couple posts, and been catching up on Married to Medicine, and I think that's it. So before I take a shower, I'm going to use some of this stuff that Capri got me, so let's do an unboxing. And thank you so much, Capri. I love you, my sister. So this is the package, the, um, I don't know what to call it, like care package, self-care basket. There we go. So the first thing in here that I'm gonna pull out is this jumbo bath sponge. It's actually a pack of two. Thank you, because if y'all can see my yellow one over here, I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all can't see it. It's on its last leg. I've been needing to get some new sponges, so that's right on time. And then we have some Dr. Wellness Hyaluronic Acid Serum. <laughs> My girl, I love hyaluronic acid. It's so hydrating for your skin. Need that. The next thing is this pack of tweezers. And these are cute tweezers. All of my tweezers are like the silver, like old, like dusty looking tweezers. I probably need to throw them away. I've had them since like childhood, to be honest. And then I got a pack of pimple patches. These say gentle and non dry Dang, 72? It's 72 of them in here. And it looks like they're all like different sizes, which that's cool. And then some lotion. Oh, I thought this was lotion. This is body wash. Some coconut milk body wash. Let me smell this. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, definitely using this tonight. And I don't have any body wash in here. I've been using my Dr. Bronner's bar soap because I ran out of my method. And then what else did I have? I had Bath and Body Works, ran out of that too. So needed that. Ooh. Jeremy has one of these. It's like a set of sponges. It's a cleaning brush and a sponge to like wash your face. It's literally in the shower right now. And I have been looking at his and I was like, oh, I want that. But haven't bought it. And then another hair towel. Well, not another one. I have one. But is it up here? No, it's in the dirty clothes, I guess. Or is it under here? No, it gotta be dirty. So, I only have one hair towel. So, this is gonna definitely come in handy on wash days. And then, what is this? Another facial cleansing thing. So, it came with another exfoliating brush for the face. And then, this actual, like, can y'all see that? This other brush with, like, a handle. And then the last thing, which I need because I only have a little travel size of makeup removal wipes so I can take them to Miami and I don't have any more. So I needed these. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's a four pack of hyaluronic acid cleansing, hydrating wipes, face wipes. And then there is a card in here. Let me open the card. It says to my legs. I love how everything is blue, light blue. That's my favorite color, y'all already know. Okay, it says happy birthday with a cupcake. This is so cute. It says happy birthday to my person, my twin sister and friend. Five years of friendship and a lifetime to go. Wow, that is so crazy. I was literally just talking to my mom about that today, about us being friends for five years. Like, what, how? <laughs> Um, it says, thank you for sticking with me through a new city, new school, motherhood, and more today. And every day is about you. Cheers to cheers to year 27. <laughs> thank you. I love you. You know, you're my sister for life. Like, period. Blood ain't even a factor and it don't have to be. Like, the bond is what says it all. Okay? But thank you. I'm about to use some of this stuff right now. <laughs> so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Get a dog, they say. It'll be fun, they say, until he throws up in your closet and... Mess. Look at him. The culprit. My closet was literally the last place that he hasn't thrown up in. And I love my closet. And now I feel like it is no longer. <laughs> now I feel like it is no longer a sacred place.
and I'm pissed. <laughs> but I can't be upset because he gets sick too. But it's like, dang, all this, like, all the laminated flooring in this place and you always choose to throw up on the carpet? That's crazy. And he just threw up yesterday in the bathroom and he was going to try to throw up on our cream mats, but I yanked them from him. And now when we're gone, he decides to throw up in my closet and on the rug. The rug, I don't really care about. He's thrown up on that so many times. But my closet, just being in here, period, while we're not in here, he knows not to be in here. Because normally we close the door, but we were rushing. <sighs> okay, I'm going to clean this up. I was going to show y'all what we got from Aldi. Because we went to church and then we went to Aldi to grocery shop, but... Well, that stuff cooks i really want to talk to y'all about the service today but one particular point and it was at the very end of the message and he was like i feel like i'm speaking to someone in here and he was really speaking out of deuteronomy 8 and 10 just when like Moses was telling like the people of Israel to like remember everything that God brought you through and he was talking about like the character of God the credibility of him and like how caring he is and then at the end he gave us like a list of things that we should be trusting God for and he was saying number one was my decisions number two my directions number three my doors number four my dunamis which is the greek word for power also known as our word dynamite and basically what he was saying was god has all the power and the strength that we need so even in times when we feel like we don't have like the right might for a situation the right power like we feel like what we're up against is more than like we're qualified for or we just don't have the confidence yet. Like we know that we can do something, but we don't see it in us yet. That spoke to me and it was so crazy because he like introduced my dunamis. Um, and then he was like telling us the background of the word and all that. And then he was like, I feel like I'm speaking to someone right now. And he was like, God has the power that you feel that you need. Like you don't need it. He has it for you. And it's Basically, he was saying, like, as long as you're walking with him, he can carry on. Like, he can bring his power for that new journey ahead, that new season ahead. And he was like, you may think that, like, right now you're not confident enough or you're not qualified or you don't have, like, what it takes. Or you, j you just basically, like, you're up against something and you feel like you're not the right fit for it or you don't need to be doing that right now because you feel like you don't have the qualities that you need to carry it out. I don't want to go into depths too much, but that message really spoke to me. Like this week, that message, <laughs> I really needed to hear that. He was literally speaking to me when he said that and I felt it and I just started tearing up. Oh, I would run out of storage while I'm talking to y'all about this. But yeah, I just wanted to be a little bit transparent. Like 
everybody goes through stuff. I go through things. I'm in my late 20s now, and I'm still learning through things, still gaining confidence in certain areas, and it's all a journey, and I just want to be, like, truthful with y'all and open with y'all, because um, I know how some things may seem, like, online and stuff, but yeah, we in this together. We're going through this journey together, and one day this will just be added to my testimony okay but anywho cooking lunch for us well a pizza that's what he wanted and muffins for breakfast for me this week and then i'll probably do some editing and i'm gonna just chill out for the rest of the day i think we're gonna catch up on some yellowstone i wish i had some more love is blind to watch but anywho i hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog if you did be sure to like this video down below and if you're not already a part of the true gang make sure to subscribe before you leave and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.